Hi, this is Rick Eimer, Palo Alto Weekly. Uh, we're here today with Jack Crockett. He is a lacrosse player here at Sacred Heart Prep. This last week, they won a couple of games. Uh, they beat their rivals, Menlo, and uh, Jack scored three goals in that game, and then he did himself one better on uh, Saturday against Redwood when he scored six goals and also added six assists. So uh, maybe just kind of talk about beating Menlo and, and Redwood to, to start. Yeah, um, Menlo is one for us each season that we're really looking forward to. Uh, their arrival, we play them, we, we know a lot of the guys on the team, and Redwood is a top 10 team in California, and at the beginning of the season, we were really looking forward to making a statement this year with our team, because we know we have a lot of potential and we're really good, so winning those two games are really important. Yeah, so far I think you're, you've scored in double figures in every game, which is uh, pretty good. I, th I think I calculated like something like it's 86 to 23 you're outscoring your opponents, which is not bad, I guess. Uh, now, of course, a lot of us don't know about lacrosse. Uh, maybe you can kind of explain what some of the positions are and uh, how to go about playing it. Yeah, so uh, there are three main positions, uh, defense, midfield, and attack. Uh, similar to soccer, it's like that. Um, there's also a goalie and a face-off guy. Uh, yeah, so that's, that's basically it. And then you run around. It looks like you run around with the sticks and things and have a lot of fun. Exactly, <laughs> it's great. So, uh, how, how does how did you get involved with lacrosse in the first place? Uh, I started in third grade. Actually, my uh, mom's from the East Coast. It's originally an East Coast sport, and in the last ten, five, ten years, it's it's become a lot popular out here, a lot more popular. And so my mom was actually the one who showed me and I'm very glad she showed me because I love it. And yeah. Yeah. yeah it takes a place that, you know, it's it's not as much standing around in baseball, I guess, as in baseball. You get to run around a lot more yeah. and things. And I do know, uh, you know, some of the big highlights, uh, you know, when the NCAAs get to go and, you know, the, the Dukes and the Marylands of the world really go at it. Mm -hmm. So I guess that's uh, one thing. And then, and we were talking a little bit before, you're going to be going to Princeton and uh, playing lacrosse. And there's been a couple other guys, but not a heck of a lot of high school guys around here have moved on to college because... I guess because they haven't been playing it as much, but uh, kind of talk about the the you know the the uh, popularity of lacrosse. Well, I mean, just five five years ago, like I said earlier, it's you wouldn't really see people out playing that often, like out on the fields of local middle schools or whatnot. But now, I mean, I look around and I have friends, little brothers, little sisters playing lacrosse, and it's great to see it growing. Yeah, I mean, and it seems to be. I mean, a, a lot of uh, a lot of teams are going now, and pretty soon the Central Coast section will have to have a tournament as soon as they get to more uh, more teams going. But it does seem to be uh, big in popularity now. When you do follow uh, lacrosse. I mean, I, I know San Jose used to have a professional lacrosse team, too. So for, San Francisco. Oh, okay. And, and, and did, did you go and, and watch those? I never did. I wasn't really into it and completely uh, aware of it all until, like, around five years ago when I really started getting into it and kind of uh, wanted to continue to play. Um, so I have not seen a professional lacrosse game. Yeah, I only saw one because it came after a Sharks game one time, so it, <laughs> that's the only reason I, I see. But uh, you know, you know, a lot of your teammates now. You, you have a really good team this year, a really strong team, and uh, uh, they've been playing a lot too. And, and kind of tell us about your team a little bit. Um, well, compared to last year, uh, we lost two two important uh, players on our team: David Peterson and uh, Kevin Tinsley, a defenseman and midfielder. Um, but this year, we, we've gotten a lot of really great freshmen. Um, ben Ramsey, a midfielder, and Cav William, a uh, long stick midfielder, a defender, um, has, are starting and have really stepped up for us and have done really well. So we, we've had a lot of returners, and big freshmen are stepping up right now. So we have a great team. So we've been talking to Jack Crockett of uh, Sacred Heart Prep. He's our Boys Athlete of the Week this week, and congratulations. Thank you. And if you care to find out who our next Athlete of the Week is, please press that subscribe button or visit us at pasportsonline.com.